Wildcats. Today is September 27th. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday. My name is Jude Layton. And I'm Julian. Students, we will be celebrating Fall Homecoming the week of October 3rd. Dress days are as follows. Monday is Manic Monday, aka Adam Sandler Day. Tuesday is Tiny Type Tuesday, also known as Dress Like, a Chi Dress like Childhood. Wednesday is Wrinkly Wednesday, or Senior Citizen Day. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, Dress for Your Class Decade. Seniors will be the 70s, juniors will be the 80s, sophomores will be the 2000s, and freshmen will be the 90s. Friday is School Spirit Day. Dress in black and gold. Show your spirit and join in on the fun. The homecoming dance will be Saturday, October 8th in the Commons area. The dance is semi-formal. The cost to enter is $5 per person. All guests from other schools must have a form on file. See Ms. Strayer in the front office to get the guest form. Attention, you swaggy sophomores. If you are not able to purchase a homecoming shirt through email, please bring $50 to Ms. Doublecourt in B14 next Thursday. Seniors, you should have an email with a link to order shirts for homecoming. Your, your orders are due by Thursday. Girls, if you are interested in playing powder puff or if anyone is interested in playing volleyball, see Mrs. Terry's for a form. The week's wildcat of the, this week's Wildcat of the Week is Nick Newman. Nicholas is so kind and polite to everyone. Several parents have comments on how nice and caring he is while checking in to the secure entry every day. Nick never fails to ask how everyone is doing and has a smile on his face. Thanks to the corner stop, Nick receives a gift card. We appreciate the Corner Stop partnering with SBHS to celebrate the awesome students we have. Wednesday morning, Christian athletes will be participating in the See You at the Pole event at 7.30 a.m. Anyone is welcome to come and attend. Hong Kong picture orders forms are located in the main office as well as guest request forms for those bringing a date from a different school. Please have forms picked up by October 4th and turn them in as soon as possible. The homecoming dance will take place on October 8th. Basketball Open Gym will be Wednesday and Friday morning from 6.30 to 7.30. Feel free to come out and bring your friends. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to Coach Payne or come by his room. Don't forget there will be early dismissal October 3rd through October 6th for parent-teacher conferences. We'll follow the early release schedule. To seniors interested in attending the senior trip to Kings Island, permission slips were passed out in homeroom on Monday. If you are absent, there are extras in the front office in Ms. Terry's room. The money in the form is due to Ms. Terry by Friday, September 30th. There will be at most 50 seniors on this trip. First come, first serve. Only seniors with passing grades are able to go. It's time for South Vermillion's favorite game show. It's with Jude. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week. See if you can find Where's Jude? Hey Julian, what's for lunch? Well Jude, today for lunch is tenderloin, fish patty on bun, or chef salad. Now let's send things over to the sports desk with Gabe. Now here's Matthew with sports because our anchor is screwed up. On Saturday, the boys' tennis team traveled to Fountain Central to compete in the WRC Championships. Competing in the championships were Jay Skinner, Nolan Hamilton, Tucker Higgins, Grayson Schultz, Nick Waugh, Luke Ginn, and Walter Breedsley. Although our Wildcats put up a great fight, they all unfortunately came up short. We did, however, have Grayson Schultz and Nick Waugh winning two doubles against Fountain Central, 6-3 and 6-4. Incredible performance in the boys' tennis. On Saturday, our boys' soccer team traveled to Southmont and unfortunately came up short with a score of 3-1. Also at South Mon Monday night, the volleyball team took the court, but lost a tough match, three sets to none. On Saturday, the varsity football team took on Riverton Park for the Milk Jug. The Wildcats had an amazing 38-0, to zero, keeping the Milk Jug here for the Wildcats. It went really good. We got off to a great start, uh, won the Milk Jug game again. Um, I believe we've had that since 1997. Uh, but these guys are dialed in. They've been doing a great job, and we're excited about where we're at. 
Coming up tonight, we have girls volleyball playing against Seeger. Girls soccer tonight is going against Greencastle. Cross country is at Riverton Park against Riverton Park and West Vigo. Tomorrow night, we also have boys tennis sectionals. That's it for the sports. How is the weather looking, Gabe? Good morning, Wildcats. It looks like today, dig those jackets out of the closet because the weather seems to be turning colder. Today, you'll see a high of 66, and tonight, temperatures creep down into the low 40s. Tomorrow, it's going to be a high of 65 and a chilly 39. Now, here's a look at your seven-day forecast, Wildcats. <laughs> Moving into the week, it'll start drifting back into the upper 70s, and the lows will be in the upper 40s. Now, let's take things back over to Jude and Julian. That's it for your news today, Wildcats. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday, and have a terrific one.